You're tuned into Capital Jazz TV. I'm your host, Jodine Dorsey, and we are at the 2022 Capital Jazz Fest, opening up today, the String Queens. How are you, ladies? Hey, we're fine. How are you? It's so good to see all of you. Real quick, for our, for our folks that don't know who you are, can you introduce yourselves, what instrument you play, and where you're from? Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. My name is Kendall Isidore. I'm the violinist in the String Queens, and I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Houston. My name is Dawn Johnson. I am the violist in the String Queens, and I am from Miami, Florida. My name is Ailee Sharp, and I am the cellist of the String Queens, and I'm from Washington, D.C. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> so how does it feel? You're back in front of an audience, yes. a huge yes. audience here yes. at, at Capital Jazz. How does it feel to be back on stage? Like home? Mm. Um, it's like a reunion. Yes. Yes. Um, it's refreshing. And, yes. you know, we've worked on um, videos, mm -hmm. giving people videos of our performances. And so stepping outside of the camera and being in front and actually feeling the audience and yes. them feeling our vibe and, and us feeling their vibe, it's yes. just been invigorating. It's yes. been exciting. And just, ah. Oh, Thank you. Welcome back home. That's yes. what it feels. Yes. That's what it feels like, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Ah, that energy exchange is so important. Yes, it is. And talking about energy exchange, you know, I've, I've got to talk about the elephant in the yes. room. Yes. 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 Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, I was chewing my nails. Like, please don't let the water break. You and me both. <laughs> Please don't let her water break while she's on you stage. You and me both. I definitely got a couple like kicks and punches and and, and waves during the performance. Right. Um, but it's just a blessing, and it's a blessing yes. to be here at this point. I'm about 39 weeks pregnant right now, um, and so, so any, every minute, yeah, any, any minute now, any minute, any, any day, any minute now, yeah, like <laughs> like, could be like minute, right now, yeah, like right, right now. now. <laughs> I love it. But it's beautiful. I mean, the energy just to be surrounded by so much love and so much good energy. Yes. Um, it's truly a blessing. And so I don't take any of it for granted. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I wanted to ask real quick. Um, I follow you all on Instagram Yay. and I've been sharing um, String Queens on Instagram. Please check them out if you haven't done so already. Um, you guys were just recently nominated or, or won an award, presented an award from NAMM. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that for me? So we actually, before we perform today, yes. we just came from Anaheim, California wow. from um, doing some music education work. We presented a session on social emotional learning in the music classroom. Yes. And then that was Friday. And then Saturday, Lisa and I sat on a panel with um, other music educators and administrators, school administrators to really brainstorm. The session was called a call to action um, to talk about what's what's playing in our classrooms, our music classrooms, what's going on with budgets um, and how can we just collectively tell the truth about what's yes. going on and then work together to to right. find solutions. Yes. And then I think you're also talking about DC Jazz Festival honored us for yes. our work mm -hmm. in music education yes. across the city, which was an immense honor. Yes. Yeah. Education and music has just kind of been this theme that keeps coming up. Mm, I've been, I was talking with Lori Williams, who performed right. on Friday night, and she's an educator as well in music. And we were talking about the importance. Why is education and music mm. and, and kids mm -hmm. and, and the school system so important to you three? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, we're it's important to cultivate the next generation of artists. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're blessed with movement in our limbs um, with where we are currently, but we're not gonna be able to play forever. And we have to make sure that the, the tradition and the feeling and the soul and everything that goes into music continues. But also more importantly, music is the medium. Music is the medium to living a wholesome life, to living a well-rounded life, to living an empathetic life, to be connected to other people. And we know that we're living in, you know, really unusual um, times right now. And so times. it's so important for us to make sure we're cultivating the whole child. Music is just the medium that we use to do that, to allow them to express themselves. Like Kendall just said, we built an entire Entire framework around social emotional learning to make sure that we're addressing their social needs, their emotional needs, their, their physical needs through the actual instruments themselves, but to just make sure that we're giving students a well-rounded music education where it's not just about the technique of playing the instrument, but why are you doing this? How are you able to connect yourself to other people in society at large? Yeah, yeah. Any, any, you want to add to that? Any, that was great. Was, I, was, right. That was, right. I was about to say exactly that. <laughs> And look, every child deserves a world class, and I mean yes. world class music education. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's right. That's right. I'm glad to know that you ladies are in the forefront 
in this discussion. It's good to know that because when we think about music too, we tend to think, and a lot of our kids tend to think about the rappers or the, the vocalist, like the person who's like in the front of the stage, right? And it's so good to see that the front of the stage is a violin, it's a viola, it's a cello, it's other instruments that kids can adapt to or, or adopt. And that's what we're teaching our children. Right. We're teaching them how to play the violin, the viola, the that's cello, right. the upright right. bass, along with keyboard and percussion. So right. we're helping them see that they can do pop smoke, they can do, you know, a little dirk right. with their instruments because we, we bring that to the classroom. They bring it to us and we examine it. We, we study what mm-hmm. they bring to us, their music. And yes. all right, pull out your violin. These are the notes. Let's go. Let's play. Yes. So letting them know you can do anything on any instrument. Yes, yes your violin yes. can play the music you hear first thing in the morning, the, the music you go to sleep to. Yes, so, yes. that's yes. right. That's right. Talking about playing instruments. So the world shut down. We all know this, right? The last time we, we saw each other, we were on a cruise. We were traveling. All these people <laughs> on a boat together. COVID-free. No mask on. Right. The whole nine yards. We were having a good time. We had a ball. And then the world shut down. Yes. The world shut down. Yes. And so one of the things I, I'm always curious, of, and especially when it comes to creators, I, 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 I look at you as creators, right? The God in you. And... What I always want to learn is when the world shut, shut down, I was forced to. And I want you to complete that sentence for me. When the world shut down, I was forced to. I was forced to adapt. Mm. There, there was nothing we could do but adapt. There was nothing we could do to reverse the shutdown. There was nothing we could do about the, the, the rate, the rampant rate that COVID was um, affecting all of our families, our friends, strangers. Um, and so we were forced to adapt where, where we felt like we never had time to do certain things before, we had to kind of change our mindset on a lot of things and also realize what was important. I had to adapt to the to my priorities, the way that I was prioritizing. Mm-hmm. And I realized that I was prioritizing some things that in the grand scheme of things just weren't that important. Um, I also learned how to, you know, say no and just to find balance again. So adapting was, was my word. Yeah, that's what I was forced to do. To just feed off of what you just said, I was just forced to get back to the basics. Like Kendall said, it just sort of forced you to strip down all of the things in your life and get back to the basics of what's really necessary, what's really essential to living a healthy, happy, fulfilling life. Um, And there's so, you know, it's almost like... um, eating a piece of cake, right? You have like the the cake itself, but then you have the icing and then you have the the wording on it and then you have the candles and then you have, and you, so this was a period where like, you just had the cake. You didn't have the icing. You didn't have the writing on it. You didn't have the candles. You didn't have the cherries. You didn't have all of that extra stuff on top, but the cake still tasted really good. And it forced you to really um, just sort of relish in the moment of having the essentials of everything. And it also forced us to rely on our faith. You know, there's so many things out in the world that we've been accustomed to thinking that we need, but we really know in this time period, and it's still going on, we just, we we need God. We need our faith. We need the love of our families, the love of our friends. Um, We need to be cultivating personal relationships with one another and really meaningful um, relationships with people so that we're able, when we extend ourselves beyond that nucleus of our lives, we're really whole and authentic people who can really, you know, have genuine relationships with people beyond the people in our immediate circles. Yeah. So I was forced to connect and be present. Yes. Uh, so good. Yeah, because, you know, we, we run around a lot from teaching. And, yeah, our tagline is teachers by day, performers by night. And we're literally coming from the classroom, driving to the next performance. And that leaves little time to connect with family. That leaves little time to even connect with ourselves and Sometimes when you're teaching, you're doing your job. Okay, baby, I got to leave at about four o'clock and we can talk about it tomorrow. So even then, you're just pushing everybody here. But actually, the, the pandemic forced me first to connect with my husband more. <laughs> and we, Come on now. Listen, you know, what was great about the pandemic, we could go to the water. Even though we were shut down, nobody's at the water. So we could like get out and go there. We couldn't really go to the store just yet, but we went to the water and just connected with each other. And then family. Yes. Yes. You know how many people from around the country we connected to? Yes. You know, it's so funny when all you have to do is pick up a phone yes. 
Yeah. And it's like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And then things happen and you don't get to it. Well, guess what the pandemic did? Let me tell you it something. It made me get to it, you know? <laughs> get to it. So we got to people that we didn't yeah. even connect with. And then, you know, the Zoom. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, I can see you. It really opened up your mind to what you could yes. do, the possibilities. Yeah. And I don't know. <laughs> It made me just really deal with my own emotions and, and figure out, Ooh. you know, who I am and what I need to do. And, and the no's, you don't have to say yes to everything. And you can politely decline and you can just be one with yourself and really be honest with your feelings, be honest with who you are and be a better human from that. Yeah. So it's really, it built healthier relationships. Yes, so. yes it did. Yes, yes. yes right? it did. Yes, yes it did. All we of are. us. Right? Yes. Like all of yes. us. Yes. And then you think about us like collectively as the string queens, what we were able to create artistically during this time oh. during the pandemic you know you're not just preparing for a performance you're not just preparing for the next thing right. we were right. able to literally create an entire two. album yeah. during this pandemic two. period two, two, al two yes, albums two albums right. that's, that's right. right so yeah and you know i gotta ask okay was this new album i'm hearing about <laughs> it's a special <laughs> one well you know special. you always get it first you always hear it first we, <laughs> that's we, right. we, we sat here before we got with you and we're like are we gonna are we gonna give her a little nugget what yes. are we gonna say right. we are about to release our third album and it's a full-length album. Yes. Um, we've done two EPs previously. Yes. Um, should we tell the title? Sure. Give you a little. Uh, the title is Rise. 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 Yeah. Rise and above. Then, and it, it literally symbolizes what we have been blessed to be able to yes. rise above. Yes. Um, what our students have been able to overcome. What our families have been able to overcome. What we've seen our country and our world overcome, and what we're still working through. Exactly. There's yes. a tension too. Right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. When is this album dropping? So you'll find out soon. Very soon. <laughs> Very soon. Very soon. Just okay. just know that your summer playlist will include the album. Yeah. Uh, that's, no, that's good to know. That is that's good information cute. to know. I like that. Okay. I like that. Don't don't com don't like confirm a date. Let's say summer playlist. Summer yes. playlist. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then how do people keep in contact with you all to know when the album's dropping? Sure. Um, so we are on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. Um, and we are at the string queens. Easy. Yes. The, so make sure you put the word the in yeah. front of string queens or you might end up on somebody else's page. It's not the string queens. Um, but everything is at the string queens. We'll be giving some album updates. We'll be yeah. giving some performance updates right. um, coming up in the fall. Um, we'll also be providing some education tips on the social emotional learning, but also trauma informed centered nice. learning inside of the music classroom as well. And so we're just so grateful and blessed to be able to combine as we usually do. But this period is extra special. What we do in our classrooms, especially addressing the social emotional yes. needs of students, but also pairing that with what we're creating mm -hmm. artistically in the studio with this album. Every track is inspirational. There's gospel, there's soul, there's there's R&B, there's some of everything to just sort of really tap into all of the emotions that we've all been experiencing these past couple of years. And so I think people will really enjoy it. I'm going to say this right now. The String Queens is more than just a group. They are a movement. Please follow them. Please follow them if you haven't done so. Please stream their music, download their music wherever you listen to your music or go to for streaming music. Please, please, please follow them. Ladies, it is always a pleasure. Yes, Jimmy, we love seeing you. It is always a pleasure. I just, you. I just want everyone to know we are always in sync here at yes. the String Queens. <laughs> Collaboration. Yes, 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 yes. But it's so good to see you all. Thank you for coming back to Capital Jazz. This won't be the last time. We'll see them again for sure. Thank, Thank you. you for Absolutely. having us. String Queens, Jodine Dorsey, your host for Capital Jazz TV. Thank you for tuning in.